These are instructions to assemble my cardstock memorial lantern. So I'm just going to put glue on this tab. Make sure everything's nice and straight. Now I have these pieces. This is just cardstock and you want it to be a little bit sturdier. So it's there to reinforce the side panels. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to glue them down into place, making sure that they're nicely centered within those sides. So I've glued on those panels. I'm just going to turn it so that we're looking at the inside of my lantern. We're going to apply our vellum. Now you could do this with acetate or with any kind of clear material. I've printed a sentiment on one of the vellum windows. I'm just going to put glue around the frames and glue them down to my lantern. So now that my vellum is all glued down, I'm just going to put the backing onto the interior. Not only does it offer a little bit of strength and stability for my lantern, but it also camouflages the vellum, not that anybody's ever going to see it. Now I'm just going to glue three of them down for now. So now that we have all our panels down, we're going to fold down on all the score lines and create our lantern. So the last score line is the tab. And so I'm just going to lay this piece flat with the tab exposed. I'm just going to grab a piece of white copy paper and lay it underneath just in case. I don't want any of this glue to get on the vellum because no matter how good the glue is, it will show. And then we just bring the panels together. We have this one piece left and I'm just going to slide it in and glue it into the interior. Being very careful not to get any glue onto that vellum. So this is the top of my lantern. You can check it on your mat and make sure that all the corners are 90 degrees. This is the base piece upon which my little lantern sits. I'm just holding down on all the score lines. I'm just putting glue on the tab and holding my box over. Making sure that the score lines meet and that the cut side of my box is meeting up with the score line. I'm going to fold down the long strip first. Fold the side tabs down on top of the long piece, like so, and then fold the remaining flap shut. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side, making sure that the last piece, the last flap that's been folded down is the same on both. So this, this one is the last flap, so the one that is here, and the one that is here is the last flap. This is the base piece under the lantern. I'm going to fold down on all the score lines. Now I'm using my scraper tool. You could use a ruler to sort of guide me from your center square. This one is a mountain fold, so you fold backwards. The next one is a valley fold, so you fold towards yourself. The next one, another mountain fold. And then the last one, is another mountain fold. Then you have the tabs on each side. There's one angled tab here, and then there's two straight tabs. We do the second one the exact same way. We're gonna do the one at the top, same thing. And now there's the last side. Now this is the side that has the panel that's going to be the backing attached to it. So again, you're going to fold exactly the same order you're folding the first one a mountain fold, next one a valley, and then two mountain folds. And there we have it. On two sides, you have three tabs. So choose a tab, the largest one, at the end of one of these pieces. And making sure that your other tabs are folded downwards, you want to bring this tab in. So you want to bring the score line into the cut line 
of the adjacent side. You want to glue it in at a right angle like so. And you're going to do that with all four of those tabs. So this already forms our base quite nicely, but what I want to do, want to do is I'm going to go in to the box and all those little tabs that we pushed out of the way, we're going to glue them down to the base. This is a little bit finicky. So what you want to do is you want to put glue in the corners where those tabs are and you're pressing on those tabs from the inside and the outside simultaneously so that they form a seal. And you do that with all four corners. Next, we're going to put glue on all these tabs on the bottom. And we're going to close our box. I'm just going to go from the inside. So I left a hole in the bottom so you had access, so you could really tighten that box the way it should be. These are the pieces for the decorative top of our lantern. I'm just going to fold up all the score lines. This one goes together very much like the main part of the lantern. There's a little hole for the handle. So you just want to glue down on your panels, centering them as best you can and making sure that the little holes overlap. So once I've glued down my panels, I'm going to flip my piece over and I'm going to glue down three of those reinforcing pieces, making note of the little hole at the top of one of them. For our final panel, I'm going to cover my panel with glue with the exception of this last portion and I'm going to glue it down into position. And then I'm going to fit this tab in between those layers and that will close my box. Just put glue on the back and the front of this tab. I'm going to pull back this piece ever so slightly and then position that tab in between those two pieces. So my tab is hidden behind that layer in there. So this is the material that I'm using to make the handle. I got it at the dollar store and it's called elastic ribbon. It's stretchy, but it doesn't really need to be. You could use cord or twine. This is just what I had on hand. I'm just threading it through the hole on the side of my panel and making a knot. Then I'm going to close the bottom of my box. And then I'm going to do the same with the top. And next I have three panels that have notches on the sides. I'm using Beacon 3-in-1 because it'll stiffen my paper. I'm just adhering all three layers together. Put glue on the top of your box. You want to position it so that it's not only centered, but so that those little notches on either side where those holes are. So I've cut my elastic ribbon at a longer length than I actually need. And I'm just threading it through. I'm just going to go in there and grab my twine with my tweezers. This would be approximate length I like, so I'm going to pull it out a little bit and I'm just going to knot my elastic ribbon, snip it close to the knot, and then I have this one piece in the file and this will help me keep that handle in place. So I'm just going to put glue along the perimeter of this frame and just glue that frame piece into position. I have these two pieces that cap off the top of my lantern. I'm going to glue them together. And so now I have all my pieces. So here is the base. And I'm going to fit the base of my lantern so that it's centered. And then this piece is going to go on the top. Before I do that, I'm going to glue this piece to the dead center of it. And then I'm just going to glue this to the top of my box. Okay, so I've put glue on the top of my lantern and I'm making sure that the handle is arced on the same side as my message. When you're looking at it, I want to be able to see the handle the way it is now and the message. So I'm just going to position this as best I can into the center of the panel. Now I'm just sliding my base onto my lantern and there you have it.